Today I'll be sharpening my 15-year-old stainless steel bladed cat's pocket knife locking blade. I'll be using a uh, diamond sharpening stone from DMT Sharpening Systems. I like the diamond stones. They grind off fast. They're safe to use. They last forever. Um, now this blade is not really in very bad shape today. However, if it was, if I had a bad ding from a nail or something, I would take a metal file and pushing away from the cut, I would file it off very gently and very slowly. Save your sharpening stone. You don't want to make digs in it. Push away from the cutting edge, not towards it like you would if you were sharpening an axe or a hatchet. You can also use a diamond file, uh, such as this one shown here. Now, a pocket knife doesn't need to shave somebody. A pocket knife is for general use, opening packaging, digging out nails or screws. Uh, if you really need a sharp knife, what you need to do is use one of these. You don't want to over sharpen your pocket knife. These utility knives are great. They're inexpensive, easy to change the blades. This one has a little pocket clip. You push out the blade. When the tip gets dull, you just snap it off with a pair of pliers. And uh, like I say, it has a little pocket holder. You can put it in your pocket. Any one of those works fine if you need razor sharp cutting. Razor sharp cutting is not really what a pocket knife is for. Now, these are Japanese soap stones uh, with a block of the soap on top. You would wet the soap and rub it on the Japanese soap stone, keeping it moist the whole time you're cutting, but that's much too fine for what we're doing. I use that for my straight razor and for my wife's kitchen knives. Anyway, uh, if you happen to have a uh, an oil stone, uh, that works just great. Uh, I just prefer the diamond stones. If you're using an oil stone, you want to be sure to put some oil on it. I highly recommend 3-in-1 oil. I keep a large can handy and use it for lots of different things. Okay. There are really three things you need to remember when you're sharpening. With a diamond stone, you wet it with water. I use a toothbrush so that I get the water pretty much everywhere. The knife blade, especially as it gets sharper, will tend to push more and more water off. So we'll get it nice and wet before we start. Now, you do not want to hold the knife at the angle A. You want to hold somewhere between B and D, probably a little closer to B. E would be a flat edge, D would be good for certain tools like hatchets. Okay, now that I've got my stone nice and wet, I want to very carefully establish the angle I want to push this at. I'm going to be like trying to cut off a very thin slice at the top of the stone. Don't push hard, okay? You, you do not want to try to sharpen your knife in one or two passes. You want to make a lot of passes so that if you accidentally alter the angle, which is critical, uh, you don't mess up the blade. Do one side of the blade several times. It's kind of a good idea, especially if you're just getting started to count the number of passes that you make and balance that when you go to the other side. We've still got plenty of water on this stone, so we'll just go right to the other side now. And we'll try to match that angle. And we'll go across, and my water's in the way, let me move that. We'll go across, again, we're trying to cut off a thin layer like we're trying to fillet this stone, except you do not want to push hard. My finger is out there to help me hold that angle just precisely where I've established it. Angle, pressure, heat, those are all critical. You want to keep your blade nice and cool while you're sharpening. If it heats, the metal gets soft and it tends to bend. We're going to wet our stone again here. And the knife is getting a little sharper. We're starting to push the water off. I'm checking the blade. You want to do that every so often. Make sure you're following uh, the pattern that you want on the edge of the blade. If your cutting area is too thick, you're trying to cut it down too fine. If it's too thin, then you're not cutting it down fine enough. There we go. Just get into a groove and slice tops off and just keep doing this. And now we're finishing up. Did a little time lapse there. I've spent about six minutes on this and I'm happy with the way that edge looks. I don't have to take a piece of paper and cut it because I don't use my pocket knife for holding pieces of paper up in the air and cutting them. I clean up my stone now, wipe off my knife blade, get the water off. I want to take care of my tool. It's been around about 15 years and 
has withstood about every kind of abuse known to pocket knives. Now we're going to finish up with our cleaning here. Uh, the blade, I often cut open packaging and different kinds of tapes, duct tape, gorilla tape, cellophane tape, masking tape. So we're going to clean that off with Goo Gone. I love Goo Gone. Takes adhesives right off. It's very easy to use. Doesn't smell offensive. I much prefer it to almost every other cleaner. I use it all the time on all sorts of jobs. Okay, I've got the glue off. I'll wipe that off now. Let's get that. Make sure we've got all the goo gone off. Now I'll use air to spray down inside of the catch where the knife blade itself resides. Uh, blow that lint and dust from my pocket out of there. And lastly, I'm going to grab my 3-in-1 oil. And I'm wearing my gloves in case I make a boo-boo here. That blade is pretty sharp now. I'll put a drop back on the area that controls the lock. And push it down a couple times to get that oil worked down in there. It's only just a catch and doesn't really need much oil. And then I'll wipe the excess oil off. And then I'll move that blade a little so that catch, that oil gets worked in better. And now we'll put it there at the end where the blade actually moves on its spindle. Open it and close it a few times. Get that oil worked in real well. And it's an easy to open pocket knife is a, is a joy. I'll wipe off the excess oil that I can get to right now. But for finishing, I'm going to lay the knife upside down and let it drain. This knife is clean and sharp and ready for service as soon as the remnant oil drains out. And I'm done. Mm -hmm.